The film which you are about to see is an account of the tragedy which befell a group of five youths, in particular, Sally Hardesty and her invalid brother, Franklin. It is all the more tragic in that they were young. But had they lived very, very long lives, they could not have expected, nor would they have wished to see as much of the mad and macabre as they were to see that day. For them, an idyllic summer afternoon drive became a nightmare. The events of that day were to lead to the discovery of one of the most bizarre crimes in the annals of American history, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Grave robbing in Texas is this hour's top news story. An informant led officers of the Muerto County Sheriff's Department to a cemetery just outside the small rural Texas community of Newt early this morning. Officers there discovered what appeared to be a grisly work of art, the remains of a badly decomposed body wired to a large monument. A second body was found in a ditch near the perimeter of the cemetery. Subsequent investigation has revealed at least a dozen empty crypts, and it's feared more will turn up as the probe continues. Deputies report that in some instances, only parts of a corpse had been removed. The head, or in some cases, the extremities removed, the remainder of the corpse left intact. Evidence indicates the robberies have occurred over a period of time. Sheriff Jesus Maldonado refused to give details in the ghoulish case and said only that he did have strong evidence linking the crime to elements outside the state. Area residents have reportedly converged on the cemetery, fearing the remains of relatives have been removed. No suspects are in custody as the investigation at the scene continues. Oil storage units continue to burn out of control at the huge Texaco refinery near the Texas-Louisiana border. Three storage units exploded into flames during the night, killing at least three workers and injuring a dozen more. Firefighting units from three Texas cities continue to battle the Holocaust in an effort to confine 40-foot flames. The smoke from the fire is visible to Houston residents some 60 miles to the south. Health officials in San Francisco reluctantly admit they may have a cholera epidemic on their hands. Some 40 cases of a highly infectious disease have been confirmed. It's believed that emergency Police are puzzled over an outbreak of violence apparently touched off by a suicide. A young man, reportedly angered by a local television blackout of a sports event, jumped from the 10th story window of his apartment. A second man, allegedly threatened to leap to his death from the same window, but was restrained by police. Witnesses to the incident reportedly urged the man to jump and responded to the arrival of emergency vehicles.
Are you okay? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> ten feet. Civil defense officials. Okay. Five this heat is here. just driving me crazy. I don't Listen, know if I can take much more. The condition of, of retrogradation is contrary or inharmonious to the regular direction of actual movement in the zodiac and is in that respect evil. Hence, when malefic planets are in retrograde and Saturn's malefic, okay, their malefice is increased. Have you been doing those Reader's Digest word tarot columns again? Jerry, it just means Saturn's a bad influence. It's just particularly a bad influence now because it's in retrograde. Hey, man, you believe all that <laughs> stuff your old lady's hawking me? I don't know. Anything happened to him? What's your granddaddy's name? Honey, that big heavy fella's a stand with that flashlight in his hand. That's the sheriff. You go tell him your granddaddy's buried in there. Okay. He'll let you in. Thank you. Say, fella, I'm gonna run off with the girl a minute. You don't mind, do you? Yeah, Honey, I'll get come you the sheriff. Hey, folks, let us through here. This girl's granddaddy's buried here. Been in there the whole time, huh? Been no sliding, sliding, no idiot, no sliding. Ah, things happen here about, they'll tell about. <laughs> I see things. <laughs> you see, they say it's just an old man talking. You laugh at an old man. <laughs> There's them that laughs and knows better. <laughs> Sure, the man said they could tell if the grave had been dug up. Franklin, don't worry. I saw it myself. He didn't look dug up to me. <laughs> What's that? What smell? <laughs> what is that stench? <laughs> Roll up the window. <laughs> hey, that's the old slaughterhouse. That's where Grandpa used to sell his cattle. Hey, we got an uncle that works at one of those places outside of Fort Worth. Hey, you see those buildings there? That's where they kill them. They bash them in the head with a big sledgehammer. Oh, well, that's awful. It usually wouldn't kill them on the first lick. squealing and freaking out and everything, and they'd have to come up and bash them two or three times. And then sometimes it wouldn't kill them. I mean, they'd skin them sometimes even before they were even oh, dead. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah. People shouldn't kill animals for food. Oh, well, they don't do it like that anymore. Now they got this big air gun that shoots a bolt into their skull and then retracts it. It's just boom, it goes boom. Franklin, boom, I like me. Please change the subject. Boom, yeah, that's boom. terrible. It's still going There's on. Something. Hitchhiker. Should we pick him up? Oh, yeah, man. Pick him up. He'll asphyxiate out there. What does he look like? Well, the son of a bitch is going to smell just like the slaughterhouse. Oh, get the guy a break. He can sit by Franklin. <laughs> what do you want to do? Oh, he's pick weird up, looking. Man. No. I think we just picked up Dracula. Where you headed, man? South. You work at that place? Oh, no. How did you get stuck way out here? I, I was at the slaughterhouse. I got an uncle that works at the slaughterhouse. Hey, my, my brother worked there. My, my grandfather, too. <laughs> my family's always been in me. My whole family of Draculas. Hey, man, did you go in that slaughter room or whatever they call it? The place where they shoot the cattle in the head with that big air gun thing. Oh, that, that, that gun's no good. I was in there once with my uncle. No way. With a sledge. <laughs> yeah, 
see, that was better. They died better that way. Well, how come? I, I thought the gun was better. Oh, no, no. With the new way people put out of jobs. You do that? Look. Good night. <laughs> you took my picture. Hey, you you could take me to my house. I, I live right off this road. Well, I, I don't know, man. We're in pretty much of a hurry. How close? It? It's real close. Well, couldn't you just walk? Uh, I mean, if it's so close. You, you, you could have dinner with us. You like head cheese. My brother makes it real good. You like it. I think we better push on, man. Jerry? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> it didn't turn out so good.
best goddamn hitchhiker I ever did. ruled by Saturn. There are moments when we cannot believe that what is happening is really true. Pinch yourself and you may find out that it is. Somebody. How are you? Would you fill her up, please? I got no gas. You're out of gas? My tank's empty. Transport won't be here until late this afternoon. Maybe not even until tomorrow morning. Hey, you know where the old Franklin place is? Franklin Place? Yeah, it's an old two-story rock house and it's sitting up on a hill. I think you have to turn on that road back there, but I'm not real sure. Yeah, yeah may, maybe I seen something like that up that way. Well, now, look, you, you boys don't want to go mess around the old house. But those things is dangerous. You're liable to get hurt. Okay, we'll, we'll be careful. You don't want to go fooling around other folks' property. <laughs> Some folks don't like it, and they don't mind showing you. Oh, my father owns it. And that's your daddy's place, huh? Yeah. Uh, look, uh, I got some good barbecue here. Why don't you fellas stick around here a while? The transport will be by in a little while. Okay, you want to get some barbecue? Them, them girls now, they, they don't want to go messing around no old house. Best you stick around here. You know, we should have asked him if there's another gas station around. Don't you think he would have told us if there was? Man, it wouldn't hurt to ask, you know? Okay, I'll go ask. Damn, what the hell? We should have stuck back there for gas. Hey, you think this place has room service? Franklin, you maniac, carrying up the van. Um, yeah, I, I just start doing that. Hey, I bet that's some of that guy's blood. Look at that. Look at that. You think that's blood? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, that's blood, all right. And that guy cut the hell out of himself. You think you could do that to yourself? <laughs> like crazy. Yeah, but, you know. It, it takes something, though. I mean, just to do that to yourself like he you did. God. Do you think I said something made him mad? <laughs> what? Frankly, you're crazier than he was. <laughs> hey, I got us some barbecue. Hmm? Loot's the closest place to get gas. Let's go. Well, there's a 
there's a creek. You could go swimming. Let's go. Oh, come on. Come on, Sally. We're going out to Grandpa's place. Let's go. Hey, that, that guy smeared blood all over the van. Looks like he's trying to write something. What? What'd he do? Did he write something on the van? Let me see your knife. Thank you. Franklin, if we run out of gas before we get back to that service station, you're towing us back in the chair. <laughs> That guy's just trying to scare us by, you know, blowing up my picture like that. Marcus Zorro. He's gonna get you. Sir, right, why don't come you wash on. it off, okay? okay. I want to show you the inside. Jerry! Okay. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Come on, sir. Here, man, you wash it off. Hey, you don't think that guy'd try and follow us, do you? What for? Oh, this, is, this is my room. I got to stay here one time when I was eight years old. Right, right after my grandmother died. What happened? What happened to my grandmother? <laughs> yes. She died. some better days, first. No, these animals used to taunt me to sleep when I was a little kid. Look at the zebras, see? Uh -huh. I have these fascinations for the zebras. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
able to take it. Sheds. Come on, we'll find it. Are Jerry and Sally going? No. We'll see you in an hour or so. Yeah. We'll see you in about an hour or so. Sally? Sally? We never get down here anyway. Somebody must have carried him when he was little. Franklin never was little. Kathleen. <laughs> I can leave him my guitar, or, you know, give him a couple bucks. We gotta come back by here anyway. I can pick up my guitar and give them a couple more dollars and bring them back some gas. They don't want your guitar. They're not gonna want to sell us any gas. Let's just go back now. Come here! Come here, look at this!
got something for you. Anybody home? Hello? Hey, Pam. Yeah. <laughs>
gonna get you, Franklin. He's coming to get you. You don't think it means anything? We'll protect you if he tries to get you. Well, I bet it's about me. He's gonna kill you, Franklin. It probably doesn't mean anything, huh? You worry too much. Well, he couldn't find us anyway. I mean, he doesn't even know our names. I gave him your name, Franklin. I told him where you live. I even gave him your zip code. He's gonna kill you. Jerry. What are you doing? I can't find my knife. That knife won't do you any good. He likes that knife, remember? When did you have it last? Well, I didn't have it last. You had it last. I gave it to you, remember? What'd you do with it? Well, I don't know. Didn't I give it back to you? No, I didn't have it when I got out of the van. You just never gave it back to me. All right, I'll look for it. Listen, I think I'll walk down to the creek before it gets too dark. How do I get there, Frank? Well, there's a trail down there between them two old sheds. Can I go, too? Uh, I think you better stay here. All right. I can't find it. Are you mad at me? No, I'm not mad at you. You really are mad, huh? Oh, I, I don't blame you. I'm... Kirk! You really didn't want me to come, did you? Oh, Franklin, I'm just tired. It's been a long day. Sally, did you believe in all that stuff that Pam was telling about Saturn and retrograde and all that? I don't know. Everything means something, I guess. You don't think that guy try and follow us, do you? Well, I mean, there's no way that he could follow us. He's probably afraid Kirk will kill him. Sally? What now? Nothing. Never mind. Home? Excuse me, I'm looking for some friends. Hello? Is anybody here? Quit playing games. Quit goofing on me. Pam, is that you? Okay, you guys. Come on out. Come on.
They must be lost. They don't have a flashlight or anything. If they're not back in a minute, we've got to go look for them. Oh, well, what if we get lost, too? Sally, we ought to go to that gas station and get help. I'm not leaving here without Jerry. probably be back in a minute or so. Sally, we ought to go to that gas station. Sally, I think we ought to go. Are the keys in the van? Could I see the flashlight for a minute? What for? Franklin, let me see the flashlight. I'm gonna go look for him. You don't have to go. Now, Sally, don't go. I don't think that's a good idea, Sally. I don't think you ought to go. Look, I'm gonna honk the horn one more time. Just give me the flashlight. No, no, I'm, I'm gonna honk the horn, and we're gonna wait a minute, and then if they don't come, well, we'll go. All right? Sally, they took the keys. We don't have any keys. They took the keys. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Give the me that flashlight! No, Sally, we can't go. Look, what if they came back and we weren't here? Franklin, give me that flashlight! No, I got to keep the flashlight. All right, I'm all right. I'm going to go look for him. Give right, me that right, flashlight! I'll, I'll go with you. I'll go with you, all right? Uh, no, Sally, come on. I'll go with you. Sally, I'll go with you, but I'm gonna keep the flashlight. Oh. Give me the flashlight! Look, look, I'll go with you. I'll I go with can't you. push it down that hill! Sally, look, I go down. Oh. Look, I'll go with you, but I'm gonna hold Never mind, I'll just go without it. All right, all right, Sally, wait. Sally, wait a minute. I'm coming with you. Sally, hold up a bit now. All right, let's go. Let's go. I'll, I'll go with you. Sally, I can't keep up with you. Sally? Sally, wait a minute.
Sally, I hear something. Stop. Stop. <laughs>
No! Now, now, you just cooperate, young lady, and we'll have no trouble. Not out of here. What do you want? Now, no, no, there's no need to do that. Nobody's going to hurt you. No! Had to lock up and get the lights. Uh, cost electricity is enough to drive a man out of business. <laughs> You're 
not too uncomfortable down there. <laughs> You've got nothing to worry about, you. You just take it easy, yeah? <laughs> we'll both be there soon. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's no, no need to do that, Take it easy there now. But we'll we'll fix you some supper in a few minutes, huh? <laughs> Get back in there! Get in there! You just take it easy, huh? 
Take it easy. Uh, we'll have you some meat right away. Do all 
Thank <laughs> you. 